Buddy Woodbury right here, W Hunt Spy. Today I'm going to talk about specifically our fender mount antennas. Now we have several different options and different products, so I want you to pay attention to the, uh, the choices that you select when you, when you buy this. So what is a fender mount? A fender mount basically is uh, an MO style antenna that uses one of these brackets here um, to mount on your truck, your pickup truck. So this is the mount that it does. We do offer magnet mount bases. We also offer uh, edge mount bases. For the purpose of this video, we're only talking about what we call the fender mounts. So, one of your first options is what do you want to mount to your pickup truck? Do you want to mount a flat NMO style mount or do you want to mount a, a 90 degree angle, an angle iron? So, when you, when you mount these antennas, you're going to get the mount. And I got one mounted here on this piece of wood. I'm going to show you how to install it. The second thing is important when you're mounting this to your pickup truck is I always want to run it to my radio and then put the mount on the outside and run the antenna second. You can't do that with these mounts. You have to hook it up to your truck and run the, the cable through the top of the mount and the hole and you run the wire all the way out. And this is before you even get into your pickup truck. This is on the outside of your pickup truck. Now, if you watch, you unscrew the top part of the the cable until you get two pieces. You mount it up and once you get the 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 mount mounted up on top you can then put your antenna on the mount and it just screws on. After you got your antenna on your pickup truck set up now you can run your cable so it's really important that you don't run the cable First, you want to hook it up to your antenna and now run it through your firewall and hook it up to where your, your uh, radio will go. We offer two different connectors. So when we ask you what the purpose or device you're using your antenna with, we're going to ask you if you're using it for a Garmin Astro or Alpha or if it's for a, a VHF style radio, a marine radio. The difference being is depending on what kind of connector you have that you're going to get in your box. We also trim our antennas to the right frequencies for our Garmin. So if you select that you want a Garmin uh, antenna, we're going to cut and trim your antenna to the perfect frequency for the Garmin callers. If you select that you want to use it for a radio, we're going to leave the, the antenna at full length and we're going to send you the cut marks so that you can trim it to the channel that you use most. The second thing is, is you're going to notice on our fender mounts, you're going to get it and it's going to look like like this for a, a, a radio, a VHF radio, that's not going to connect to the back of your radio. We send it with this one because it's easier to send this little, uh, little connector through the firewall. And then once you get it to your radio, you put this adapter on. You're going to want to screw it on, use a little pair of twi uh, pliers, get it tight, and then this will go to your radio. The two options we have, there's a couple other options we offer you. One is if you'd like a spring. All that does is allow the, the antenna to flex a little bit. A spring is not required to use the antenna. It doesn't improve the distance or range or anything, but it just gives it a little bit of, of flexibility. The second option you're gonna see is we see two options. We see what we call our browning antenna. And we also have a tram antenna. So again, these antennas are very similar. Um, they're just a grade difference in, in how they're built. So the tram antennas are a little bit less expensive um, whereas the Browning antennas are what they, what they're the, the premium model. They're both made by the same exact company. It's just different components that they use. So, so those are your options when you're ordering a fender mount antenna. The first thing we're going to know, as to recap, do you want a flat black bracket or do you want a 90 degree angle bracket? The other question you're going to want to know is do you want the Browning premium? It costs a little bit more or do you want a tram, which is a little bit less expensive and, and essentially they have about the same distance okay. uh, the browning may hold up a little bit better and then the last question that we have for you is uh what are you connecting it to are you connecting it to a garmin or are you connecting it to a radio and that's going to depend on what antenna you get the or the uh the connector for the cable that you get oh. and also if we cut the the antenna to the right one to the right length Lastly, if you do uh, order a Garmin product, we send you one of these little things right here. We call this a SMA wrench. 
essentially it just slips over your SMA connector and uh, allows you something that makes it a little easier to spin that that knob and get your finger on it. Whereas with a with a Garmin, it's kind of hard to get the little uh, SMA nut there. So it's just something extra we throw on there. We we have these built ourselves. You're not gonna find anybody else that has these options available, but but uh, we call it SMA wrench. If you have any questions about our, our antennas, please give us a call. We can walk you through and give you any, any questions you have or any explanations you need when you get the right antenna. Again, this is Buddy with W Hunt, uh, Hunt and Supply, 855-384-8687.